Become a millionaire fast by selling your music as NFTs. Keep watching this video to find out how. That is obviously ridiculous. But with all of the articles and hype around NFTs lately, that is honestly what it's starting to sound like and feel like. In this video, we are going to cover what NFTs are, how they work, how musicians are using them, and if they are really going to change the music industry. Before we get started, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. Fungible meaning that they can be replaced with an identical item. So non-fungible is the opposite of that. It is irreplaceable, unique, one of a kind. For example, a specific concert is non-fungible because while the artist can play the exact same set in a different city and have the same set pieces, the same band, and the same overall feel of the concert, you aren't going to get the same people in the same room at that exact same moment having that same experience and there will be nuances to that specific experience. That's what makes any specific concert non-fungible. NFTs run entirely on perceived value and can be anything that can be digitized as a product. NFTs use blockchain technology in order to function. It's the same stuff that allows Bitcoin to be a thing. It is basically a decentralized way of keeping track of information that cannot be altered or destroyed, but can be exchanged. It's essentially like a giant ledger that can't be tampered with. And the tokens themselves have metadata similar to how a picture you take would have metadata with where it was taken and the copyright information. The token has that same sort of data so that it can be tracked throughout time and space so that even if you sell the NFT, the record of who had it before and the original owner is still attached to the NFT. This allows the original creator of the NFT to continually receive a percentage of profits from the sale of the NFT in future. And that aspect of it is what is making it very appealing to artists and musicians right now. Currently, NFTs are pretty much always bought and sold through cryptocurrencies and in the form of an auction. As I mentioned before, all of this is running on perceived value. People like the idea of exclusivity. They enjoy collecting and trading things and they enjoy experiences. So to better understand this value, I'm going to use an example in music in physical form. So when Taylor Swift released her album Folklore, she actually for a limited time released it with eight different covers. Now the music on this, on each of these covers were exactly the same. The only difference was there were eight variations of this cover. And a little quick search on Twitter will show anybody that people were clamoring to collect all eight covers of this album. Even though all of the same music was on all of the same versions, people really wanted to collect them all. Same with Pokemon cards and Pokemon in general. So as you can see, I'm going to put up a bunch of examples. People actually went out and bought basically the same CD eight different times, making Taylor Swift eight times the money for something that they thought was collectible and that they perceived had value to have all of them. NFTs kind of work in that same sphere. Musicians are finding value in NFTs because like I mentioned earlier, they can continually receive profit from said NFT as it is sold further down the line. Unlike for example, a UCD, the original artist is not going to make any money off of you selling your copy of one of the Taylor Swift folklore editions but they can keep making money as you sell the NFT. They also are finding value in this space because it is a way to make money without the label's involvement if they don't want the label's involvement. 
which I am sure the label and their lawyers right now are sitting there trying to figure out how to get their money out of all these NFTs and writing it into new contracts. But as it stands in the current moment, if you don't want to work with your label to make an NFT, you don't have to, and all of those profits will go to the artist. So specifically right now with the pandemic and venues being shuttered and nobody making money, this has been very valuable for musicians. Because anything that can be digitized can be made into an NFT, the possibilities are truly endless. But here are a few ways musicians are currently utilizing NFTs. Mike Shinoda of Linkin Park made $30,000 selling a 37 second clip of an unreleased Linkin Park song as an NFT. Kings of Leon sold six golden tickets along with their latest album release as an NFT. These golden ticket holders are able to get four front row seats per tour to one concert for the rest of their life. So I could see the value in that one. Sean Mendez, who seemingly is working with his management and potentially his label, is selling avatars with licensed swag and clothing on the avatar as NFTs. So like I said, it's really endless possibilities. This is the time to be creative with it. And anything that can be digitized can be made into an NFT. It's just about if people will tell you that they find value in what you're trying to sell and will pay to have it. I see NFTs as a new way for musicians to show the value that there is in music. Right now, like I said, with the pandemic, venues are shuttered. A lot of people aren't making money right now because musicians mainly make their money through live concerts. Like I mentioned, the pandemic has wiped out most venues and most revenue streams for working artists. And NFTs have kind of come out as an answer to that and a way for them to make money. I see NFTs as a new way for musicians to make money for themselves as well as establish the value of music. A majority of people pay a la carte for their music via streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, Tidal, etc. That basically makes music worth pennies on the dollar. And then musicians were making all of their money via live shows and concerts, which have been shuttered by the pandemic. So as it currently stands, music doesn't really have much of a value to the general public because they aren't paying much for music. So NFTs seem to be a way to kind of establish the actual value of music and the hard work that artists put into making music. I don't see a lot of these astronomical prices sticking around forever. I think a lot of that is just hype, but I do think the concept of the NFT will stick around as a revenue stream for musicians. This does seem like something that only bigger artists can really take advantage of at this point, because if you are a new artist, you haven't really established your value yet, whereas bigger acts can take advantage of the value that they already have. I do think that a lot of people are going to hop on the bandwagon of NFTs and then a lot of this will end up in litigation for years and years and or labels will just put a clause in their new artist contract and have them sign away their rights to NFTs before the artist even realizes the value in what they're signing away. NFTs will certainly change the music industry. It has yet to be seen how big of an impact it will make, but I definitely think it will make an impact. I hope and think it will push music into more of an experiential phase, and I hope that it allows artists and musicians to interact with their fans in a more personal and deep way that finds value for both the musician and the fans outside of just paying for like t-shirts and sweaters. And I also hope that it aids in getting musicians paid reasonably for their hard work and their music that pretty much the entire world enjoys. In conclusion, for new and emerging artists, I don't think NFTs are something that you really need to worry about right now. Like I said, all of this kind of revolves around perceived value and if you don't have any music out yet or you just had your first EP out yet, you don't truly have any perceived value. 
So if you don't have the value, there isn't anything you can really sell. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be keeping up to date on NFTs. You need to make sure that you are understanding your rights when you are signing any contracts or when you are collaborating with anyone. Because like I said, there have already been lawsuits started around this issue and people are going to be caught up in litigation for a while and you also don't want to lose out on any potential money say you collaborate with a bigger act and then they end up selling something as an nft down the line you want to make sure that you are getting your money out of your work as well so basically just in general when it comes to nfts if you are a new and emerging artist you just need to make sure that you are always aware of your rights and your evolving rights for established acts, I think that NFTs are a great opportunity to experiment and communicate with your fans. Find out what experiences and things that they are currently craving and deliver that. Don't just copy what everyone else is doing. Try and be unique because when something is a perceived value, if you're the first one to do something that sounds super cool and awesome, you're going to make more money than all the other people who do the exact same thing afterwards. So this is really the time to be creative and to be unique and you may be able to make some really good money off of that. That's all the basics that musicians need to know about NFTs right now. Are you going to be taking advantage of NFTs? If so, how? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button and consider liking this video because it truly helps this channel to grow. I will see you guys again next time. Bye.